What's good? What's good? Good morning to y'all. Top of the morning, man. Top of the morning. It is your big home, big baby. And this is the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast, man. You already know what time it is. Big thanks, big appreciation for anybody who clicked on here. You know, um, because like I always say, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, so I got you. You know what I'm saying? So today's episode, man, I wanted to be. Now, I'm going to just be real about this. There's your coffee on. But um, I'm a man, right? I'm a man. Um, So I don't like touching on women and women's issues and stuff like that. It's not really my place. But I got to um break something down for y'all because I just stumbled across. Uh, well, y'all know about the rapper Mulatto, the light-skinned. Oh, uh, young lady. Um, two things. Do you know what a mulatto is? Do you know what that, what the definition of a mulatto is? All right. So if you do, then you do. If you don't, it's the caste system. It's part of the system that of the um, identifying creed system. All right, uh, back in the days in slavery times, as we all know, they had black people in bondage. And then, um, you know, physical bondage. And then what they would do, they would mate, they would have sex with our women. They would rape them, really. They would have sex with our women via rape or whatever, or force or whatever. And those offsprings, the babies that come from that, would be a European man mixed with a black woman or African woman. They call those mulattoes. Some people call it whatever you want, but the the scientific term for it is mulatto. And this is just proof that we're still in bondage today. You have a young black lady who was born a mixed parent and she knows who she is. If she don't know the people who gave her that name, they know why they did that to her. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's just so you can identify yourself as an as a a part of them or it's like a stamp it's just a, like a nick it's like being called a nigga you know what i'm saying it's really derogatory in a lot of uh, countries to be called a mulatto it's not a positive thing it's like a half breed it's like non full uh american i mean or non full breeded human now i'm just going to be real with you mixed parentage is just the evidence of human travel let me say that again. Mixed parentage is just the evidence of human travel. Because certain people, groups of people, migrate to different regions around the world and settle and meet and greet and, and have babies and skeet with all the women of the, of the native land. That's where you get mixed parentage people from. That's where you get mixed breed of people from. You know, So I'm not saying nothing against mixed breed people. I have uh, multiple ethnicities in me you know what i'm saying primarily it's black and uh black is what i am but at the same time i have other races in my bloodline so i can't sit here and act like a racist or a bigot or anything like that because i wouldn't be here without being a product of mixed parentage so with all that being said man this mulatto term and these little things if y'all don't realize her newest video she just came out it's called Richest, Youngest and Richest or something like that. I, I've i not watched a video. I just looked a few minutes of it, like a couple seconds of it, just so I could see. And what was the video? They had this girl in colonial clothes in a slave house, in front of a slave house, posting and posing with colonial slave clothes. And not the slave, uh, slave master clothes, colonial slave master clothes. That dress that she have on, that's the slave master's dress. That is not a slavery dress. So, understand that what side of the ballpark she's playing on. She's not playing on your side. She's playing on their side. You know what I'm saying? And she, those people, these rappers, these athletes, these entertainers are only sent here to get you further from God. To distract you and keep you as f- far away from God as possible. Because God is inside of us. God is inside of every one of his people. 
you know, and they don't want you to have that connection with your inner self, with God. They don't want you to be in connection with yourself. You know, your people, your bloodline, your lineage, the voice inside you. They don't want you to be in contact with that. So they do all these things and give you all these external voices and these external sources to deter you from your who you are and who you really are supposed to be. You know, so if I can get through to anybody, I want you to understand this. Like I always said, music is the bullshit trap that they use to trap our spirits here on this body. Because they have our bodies. They have most of our minds. We all give up the soul? I don't know. But it's almost too late. We're in the fourth. By white supremacy, the Ku Klux Klan. Maybe. I wrote a piece for Atlantic Magazine that said we're in a battle for the soul of America. And folks, we are. You know? So just wake up, y'all, man. Just these little rappers, Mulatto and all them. I'm not hating on you, sweetie pie. I just, I just want y'all to understand, even you, Mulatto, to understand that this is a system devised to keep us divided. And it's still working to this day. And by you coming out with this name, Mulatto, you're like smacking your ancestors in the face. And not your white ancestors, but you're smacking your African ancestors, your black ancestors in the face. Even if your ancestors didn't go directly through slavery, you shouldn't disrespect the culture and the creed. You should never do that. So y'all, stop watching these fucking rappers. Stop watching these fucking actors and entertainers. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Because nobody ain't going to get you there but God. And God is from within. God's going to guide you from within. God is like your GPS if you're in tune with him. He's going to show you the way. He's going to show you what to do at all points of time. You know what I mean? It's the Big Homie Big Betty, man. This is the Real Talk Real Shit Podcast. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Big shout outs and big love to all y'all.